Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial today. We are going to implement Firebase Cloud Messaging in our application, so let's start. For Android version 13 or greater, we need to use post notification permission. Let's create method to request permission for Android 13 and greater. In this method, we will first check if our device version is equals or greater than 13. Then we will do implementation for requesting permission. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now firstly we will check if permission is already granted or not. If you want video on any specific topic please leave your comment below. Now we will check if user have permanently denied permission, then we will have to explain user about permission. We can do it by showing dialog box or toast message. Show dialog to user in this condition or show a toast according to your requirements. Now we will request for permission from user. Using Dexter library for permission handling will be easy. I will leave link to video in description, you can learn it from there. In this method we will check for results if user have granted permission or not. We will use activity result launcher it will give result for or actions like asking for permission from user. We can show toast message when permission is granted or we can show dialog box if user deny permission. Now in request permission method we will request method by launching activity result launcher, we will pass post notification permission in its parameters. After that we will call this request permission method in our activity on create method. It means as soon as our activity is created it will request permission from user, you can perform this task on button click or other condition according to requirements. To test Firebase Cloud Messaging we will have to get token of our device this will only be used for testing. We will request for device token if our device version is less than 13 and also when user have granted permission. Now we will connect our application with Firebase. We will select Firebase Cloud Messaging Service and then we will select set up Firebase Cloud Messaging Java. After that select connect to Firebase option. It will automatically open Firebase console on your browser. Here you can create new project for your application. I have already created a project, so I will continue from there. After selecting project or creating new project, click on connect button as shown in video. Now your Android Studio and Firebase is connected. Now open Android Studio and follow steps to implement Firebase cloud messaging. Now click on add FCM to your app and accept changes as it will automatically import required libraries. Let's open our console and check for messaging dashboard. As you can see we have connected messaging dashboard with our application and now we can create new Firebase message. Now we will create method to get device token for test message in our application. In this method we will check if Firebase instance is created. If it is successfully created then we will get device token from Firebase. Otherwise we will call return statement which will not execute further statements in method. We will get token and show it in our log cat. Now we will call method when permission is granted or device version is less than 13. Let's run our application. 
I am testing on Android 10, so I will not ask for permission, rather than I will get device token from Firebase. Here I have successfully received device token. Let's create a test notification from our console. Enter notification title in text then click on send test message to test your implementation. To send test notification, you have to put device token which we get earlier. Now, put this ID in console for test message. Click on test and check your device for notification. As you can see I have received notification. Sometimes it takes time for notification to show as it depends on internet connection also. Now to send notification in all devices which contains your application follow following steps in Firebase console. Select your application and then select on schedule if you want to send messages according to schedule you can set your date and time accordingly. Choose other options according to your requirements and then click on review. Now click on publish button your notification will be sent to users. This takes times to receive notification to user end. That's all for today if you want video on any specific topic leave your comment below thanks for watching.